Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about um, a new Canva app that I really liked that allows you to create um, cool patterned designs. And so there's lots of different things I can show you this because patterns are great for any kind of all over print product. And so uh, whether it's an all over print shirt or a, a pillow or any other product where you're getting patterned designs that look really cool, this is great. Um, I'm showing you right now one of my listings. So this is one of my Etsy listings and it is a license plate frame and it's just a tropical pattern. Um, but again, you can use this for just about anything. And so what I wanna do is jump over to Canva and show you this cool new app that I found here. So right now I'm on Canva's homepage. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a square. So I'm gonna go to custom size here. We're gonna do a square design. Um, and we're gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna pick 5,000 by 5,000. So it's nice and big. Nice big square, 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. We'll hit create new design, and that's just gonna pull up a blank sheet for us. And so what I wanna show you is an app here. So if we come down and we scroll to apps on the left-hand side, you can click that. Again, there's all sorts of cool apps, and after looking through a lot of them, there were several fun things that I found. Um, this is the one that I found is Patterned AI. And so it looks that it just looks like a bunch of patterned peas right there. But if you click that, it is going to generate an AI pattern for you. And so you can use word prompts to kind of come up with what type of pattern you want. Now, this is AI, so it's not going to be perfect. And you may have to try a couple of different things. Um, but I did one where I wanted let's say more tropical stuff. So I wanted tropical hibiscus, bright colors, so you can be as specific as you want. So I'm gonna put, let's say, um, bright colored hibiscus, bright colored hibiscus and plumeria, let's say on white backgrounds. And I can scroll down here, I can up the number of images that it's gonna generate. So it's gonna give me four images and I'm going to hit generate pattern and we'll see what it comes up with. And so these are the four different patterns it came up with. So here is one. There's another, that one's kind of cool. Um, and you can just sort of go through and see which one looks the best or which ones you like. You can always go ahead and try again too. So if it doesn't quite come out right, this one looks really cool, except this one hibiscus here is like half pink and half orange. So, uh, you know, you might find little, little problems like that. This one looks really pretty. I like that. This one's kind of pretty. It's got a lot more space in between all of them. And it's got some half-toned ones as well. Let's say I think that this one looks pretty. Um, I can, of course, zoom in to really get a good look at it. And I can zoom out and you can see that this is a, you know, a continual pattern and so that's really cool i'm going to zoom in and then i'm going to go ahead and just click add to backgrounds now it's going to make it a very tight pattern so you'll see when i add it to background that pattern is going to be very small so you can see a very very small pattern what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and blow that up because i don't quite want it that small so i can just click the edges and drag that out um, so that it's a little bit bigger there. So maybe I go with something like that and you can make it whatever size you want. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this. Um, and I'm going to use this for the license plate frame that I showed you. Now, if you did want to do it as a seamless pattern that you were going to pattern on something like clothing, you may need to keep it that small so that it's seamless. And then you can blow it up on the product or however you want. So you can figure out how to size that. But for this one, I'm just gonna show you on a license plate frame here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna title this, let's say hibiscus pattern. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just save it. So I'm gonna go to share, download. And we're gonna go ahead and just download it as is. It's a PNG, it doesn't need to be a transparent background or anything, so it's great the way it is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to, um, Printify, they have license plate frames and I'll show you guys how I would go ahead and do that. 
So I'm on the Printify catalog here. And of course, there are tons of all over print patterns that you, you could use this for, by the way. I just decided to show you on license plates, but you could really do it on just about anything. So under accessories, you'll see car accessories. I can click on that. Okay, so as it happens, as I'm filming this, Printify seems to be having some problems with its website. And right now, none of the catalog is working. <laughs> So I go to catalog and anything I click on, it's saying we couldn't find that product. So I guess I am going to show you on a different site. So I'm going to go to print KK and we'll do it that way. So let's go to print KK. And I'm just going to go ahead and log into that real quick. All right. So I'm on print KK's catalog and we'll go ahead and just search them for license plate frame so I can show you this. So license plate. And so they have a bunch of license plate frames too. And it's great because this is actually the one that I'm selling here. So um, which is it? This one? I think this is the one that I'm selling, the to hold one. Well, anyways, there's a lot of them. So there's there's several different versions. But here's a license plate frame. I can go ahead, hit start designing. Now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and upload my hibiscus pattern. Okay, so once we have that uploaded, we can go ahead and just click on that. Perfect, and it's gonna put it right there. Now I can close this, and now I can move this wherever I want it. I can also resize it, so it is, you know, way bigger than is necessary, so I can resize however I want, and go ahead and line that up however I want. So if I wanted the smaller ones there, or the bigger ones, or I wanted it to cut off, or you know, pretty much however I want to center that, I can do that. And what you're going to see is it's giving me, you know, the look on the license plate over here. So it's going to give me some mock-ups with the license plates and with the nice floral license plate there. And so these are some of the cool mock-ups that you'll get. And so that's easy. If you like the way that it looks, we go ahead and we can save it and then we can go ahead and publish it to our store. And so super easy there's all sorts of things that you can do with the all over print stuff and so i you know i showed you on a license plate frame but you can be as creative as you want there are tons of products that this could apply to um where you could use these kinds of patterns um i know on printful they have like flip-flops and summer is coming so something like this can look really cool on like flip-flops and so go ahead and be creative but what i really wanted to show you was that app that just allows you to create these you know really cool ai patterned patterns because now you can use it um, and nobody else is going to have the same pattern as you and so it's a great way to kind of create some of these patterns by the way, if anybody knows why Printify's catalog isn't working, you can put that in the comment section below. I'm wondering if they're changing up the catalog a little bit because of the tariffs. I don't know. Um, it was working last night, but I've tried it a few more times and it's still down. It could just be the website is down. Anyways, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Now, because you guys were so patient and did wait until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. So without any more waiting, these are going to be your five bonus niches. And I decided to make these niches all gardening themed. So great for people who love to garden, including maybe mom or grandma for Mother's Day. So just throwing it out there. Number one, gardeners know all the dirt. Number two, I'll be in my office, which you can do a bunch of different ways. Gardening is just one way that you can do that. Number three, I wet my plants which is pretty funny. Number four, I do pot and, you know, potted plants. And number five, hoeing ain't easy. And so just lots of fun, cool gardening designs. These are great evergreens and these can sell year round. So it's always good to, you know, make sure your portfolio is full of fun evergreen designs. Again, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope your sales are going great. Um, and I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.